local weather with the KX News Storm Team. Welcome back to KX News at 6. Taking a live look this time at the Magic City. Sitting at 43 degrees. We have clear skies right now. Calm, peaceful conditions. A little bit warmer than we're used to for this time of year. But that's going to be changing as we head into the weekend and into really the first half of next week. Right now, though, your Wednesday weather headlines staying dry and calm through the end of the week. Going to be seeing those highs in the 50s the next two days. Maybe even squeak in a 60 towards that southwestern corner. Looking ahead to tomorrow. Maybe seeing some rain or snow as we move into Saturday of this weekend, turning much, much colder next week. Daytime highs is in those 30s for most of the week. May even see a few teens for those overnight lows. And we're watching that precip chance for Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. Looking ahead to tomorrow, probably the warmest day we'll have of the next 7 to 10 days. We have widespread 50s in store for us. And again, some possible 60s maybe towards that southwestern corner. We'll see if we can get Dickinson or Bowman or Hedinger there, areas like New England. We'll see, but overall a very nice day in store for us tomorrow. Looking ahead to Friday, still seeing pretty widespread 50s across the board, just not quite as warm out towards that southwestern corner, but 50s in November, I will certainly take that for this week. So getting into the pattern for the weekend, by about 8 o'clock or so on Saturday, maybe seeing some rain showers beginning to form towards that far northwestern corner. Some more precip pushing into our central locations, maybe out towards the west. As you get further along into the evening hours on Saturday, some of that rain probably going to begin to transition to some snow, mostly towards that northwestern corner. Don't be surprised, though, if some of that snow bleeds a bit further south, perhaps a bit further towards the east, towards Minot. It's kind of hard to just hard to decipher right now, but overall expect some wet slushy snow towards that northwestern corner, maybe an inch or two at best. But of course, this can still change a little bit over the course of the next few days. Most of this out of here by the time we get to Sunday. Looking ahead to next week, this is Monday morning. We have this area of low pressure down towards the south. All this moisture, it's going to go one way or another. One scenario is it moves towards the north. That would give us the opportunity for a potentially major rain to snow events. I will say right now this is the least likely of the two scenarios, but it is still possible. And of course, we'll watch this very, very closely over the next day or week, I should say. The other possibility is it moves off towards the east and completely misses us altogether. No precip here for us. Again, right now this is the most likely track. This is still a possibility, which is why we're bringing it up to you. So we'll continue to monitor this, of course, through the end of the week, into the weekend, and for the early stages of next week. For now, though, we're watching that rain snow chance just for this weekend. Looking at Williston's next five days tomorrow, 56, a very nice day towards that northwestern corner, just 38 by Saturday. Chance for rain snow mix, 70% chance of that right now. Dickinson's next five days, less of a chance for Saturday, but still 50% as far as that precip chance is concerned. But tomorrow near 60 degrees should be a very nice day out across west central North Dakota. Looking at Minot's next seven days, 53 is for to end the week both tomorrow and Friday. 50% chance of precip for Saturday. Trending much, much colder though by next week. 38 and 31 for Tuesday and Wednesday. Of course, watching Tuesday for now for that precip chance. Just 18 for Tuesday night. So much, much colder as we get into next week. And Bismarck, 53s again for you. 40s for the weekend. Trending cooler for next week. Again, watching Tuesday. Going to be colder, windier, and possibly wetter as you move into next week. I think we're bringing out the heavy coats next week. Got to bring out those parkas, the Gore-Tex. You can finally say that word again. <laughs> yeah, whatever it, keeps you know. the cold out. Yeah. Got to have Gore-Tex. <laughs> Get the gloves ready. Uh, you know, we're more confident in the cold and the wind than the precip. The precip's still possible, but colder and windier for sure for next week. Kiar. And my husband will finally let me turn the heat on in the house, possibly. <laughs> you better turn that <laughs> Thank heat on. Well, Thank you, Kenny. Don't go messing with that thermostat. I mean, that costs <laughs> money. I mean, really. Coming up next, the holidays are coming up and your Thanksgiving mail could